Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're working on some projects out here. Uh, what I've got is a piece of a two by four that was just laying out there. I didn't have no further use for it. And I hope this ain't shaking the camera too bad. I got that camera sitting on that table just because it had a better angle right there. But this was a, a two by three, I think. Something like that. It's not a two by four. We ain't trying to win no beauty contest now. What I've done is I took my table saw over there and cut me an angle on there. And I'm just rounding these edges off good. Making sure this don't hang my fur. And then I'm going to pine tar this because this is not treated. Oh, And you'll see, I'll show you. See how I just cut me a point on there? This is gonna be my small flesh and bean. And y'all, I do have the intention of taking my big flesh and bean and making it larger. I've just gotta find the stuff to do it with. I'm, I'm trying to improve on some of my stuff this year. The success you have has a lot to do with what you have to work with. Now, you, you don't do this kind of stuff, you need to be Set up where you can do it right. Now, probably what I'm going to do is take my table saw and thin this. To, I don't know. I don't need to be that thin. Not for no critter head. Alright, we got this sanded pretty much good enough for what I'm wanting. I'll let y'all get a good look at what I got here. See that? I just wanted something that I could run a skunk head down on good. Raccoon head. And this wide enough that that animal's gonna be loose on it. But it gives me a good flat area that's about two and a half inches wide to take that fur off. And that's plenty for what I'm doing. Oh. I'm gonna run this down and just clean the dirt and stuff off of it. We fixed to put a coat of pine tar on it. This is my men wax pine tar. <laughs> really ain't. <laughs> Let me back y'all up just a little bit. Men wax don't make pine tar. Look, camera tripod I'm experimenting with on my phone ain't. It ain't the dandiest thing ever made. It don't have all the proper adjustments to get it just where you want. Lord, it's time to have a cleaning up around this joint. I had to see which one had pine tar on it. The best way to do that is to, that's pine tar. Now I got this. Y'all know this is pine tar that I mixed with turpentine. And I put it on there pretty heavy. I'll move that over out of the way. And I don't mind slopping this on everything here. We just gonna, I did, I promised y'all I was gonna let y'all help me. Now y'all know I like a proper old fashioned cut down a limb, but I really didn't have time right now to, to uh, cut a pole and dry it and all that stuff. I'm, I'm pretty well needing this cause we fixing to be at a, a point in the uh, season to where I'm not going to trap hard and heavy, but what I do trap, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and be starting to tan. I learned a valuable lesson last year. Ow. It's good if you'll go ahead and, dang gum, I have a piece of a staple sticking out of there. Run that right on up in my finger. Oh. Um, I tried to save fur green or dried hanging up in my shed. Y'all, that was not a good idea. Anyway, you watch, you watch your bottom half of my jaw right there talk for a minute. We just gonna do that. You need to watch what I'm doing over here anyhow. Not be trying to look at me. You'll get all distracted looking at me. Oh. 
but the bugs got in that stuff. Um, and then it caused them to get into some of the stuff that I thought I had tanned. Apparently, it wasn't properly tanned, or I didn't, I don't know if I didn't smoke it good enough. I had smoked it. it and they didn't get into ones that I used that orange bottle on. They got in some stuff that I had egg tanned. But anyway, they mainly got in what wouldn't tanned at all, which I understood that. But once they got in my shed and figured out there was stuff in there for them to snack on, they really went to town then. So we're going we're gonna to do a little better job this year. I'm going to go ahead and tan that stuff where they don't, where we don't fight that this year. Now, the tricky part is going to be getting this screwed in there and it stay flat. May have to. See, the other one was round and I could go right in there with it. Well, we're going to try it like we got it right here. I think it'll work all right. We're gonna get another screw or two and run in there. I got some plenty of screws in here. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. I, I come back. I know y'all thought I. I left y'all, but I, I didn't. Ah. Oh. I may run one into something down there in the ground, a pig in the ground or something. We're gonna see how this, how that works. And I don't know how long that's gonna hold up. But man, look at that, worked out just right, I mean. Well, we got this fixed right quick. Thank y'all for watching my videos. Man, I look, I appreciate all y'all commenting on there. If you think you're commenting on my videos too much, I'm here to tell you you're not. I love to hear from y'all, man. I like it when y'all get on there and talk to me. Tell me what you like, don't like, want to see. Whatever you want to talk about. If you want to talk about two videos ago or you want to talk about what you're drinking for coffee and eating for supper. Y'all holler at me. I like to hear from y'all. I really do. Uh, but thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors.